The birds are tweeting in the trees, accessing my inner Dr. Doolittle. They're saying, Nigel, Nigel, go and do the kitchen at the house. Stop messing about. What have we got to do? We've got a number of things. We've got to get the sockets tested. We've got to get this pipe secured against the wall so that the water's correct. I need to have a think about that stupid outside tap that needs rotating. Um, I need to get the make sure the power for the cooker and the hood is correct. I need to block up the chimney and build a frame for that. I then need to get the units. What have we got? Place the units in the right spot, get the feet, get the heights, measure it out, see where that all fits and sits. Um, you know, sometimes you look at the list of things you've got to do that you thought was going to be easy and you kind of get that feeling of being overwhelmed. Well, I think the simplest thing you do is you just go, OK, can't do them all at once. So I'm going to pick one, focus on it and do it. And I think what I need to do is work out what I'm going to do with that outside tap because once the units are in, I'm not getting there. My issue with the outside tap was this thread for where the tap comes on has to have a certain number of revolutions, which means that actually you've got to set this and fit it lined up before you actually solder it inside. So now I've desoldered it in there and get it lined up here, push it back to where it should be, and we'll try again and we'll see if we can solder it and hopefully get a decent connection, decent join, watertight, and we'll see if it works. Excellent. Okay, well that's that's a pretty good start. I'm, I'm pleased that I've managed to do the outside tap. That was bugging me because <laughs> outside tap, the points are upwards, so it fires the water up at an angle. Not ideal. Pretty much the hallmark of an amateur. And I'm trying to hide that from the, the wider world. Although you're probably saying, why are you doing this on YouTube? Good question. I think I need to position these cupboards and find out exactly where things go because I've got to connect up the waste pipe from the sink and make sure there's a fall that takes the wastewater out. So I think that's the next bit. What have I got on here? Yeah, so I'm gonna move the units down this bit, create a bit of space because one of the next things is then doing the fireplace. And I need all that out of the way. So the best way to do it is to move some of this over here where it's gonna go. But before we do that, I've got this piece of wood, which was holding up the self-leveling compound, and I've now got to smash it out. Hey folks, well, the spray cork on the wall down here, when we don't need to cover it because the kitchen cupboards are gonna go here. But I've just been testing. One of the properties of spray cork is the fact that it's very hard to burn. Now, I don't know the technical fire resistance rating on it. All I know is that if you take one of these 
with a blowtorch and apply it to the spray cork, it's pretty amazing. Let's have a look. So, nice hot jet, here we go. So it sort of looks like it's about to burn. But then it doesn't. And there's just a bit of carbon left on the wall. And I'm holding it here, one, two, three. As soon as you take the flame away, the heat away, it's gone. And all you've got is a tiny bit that is burnt. And as that burns, it sort of nullifies the access of oxygen to the rest of the cork. So if you've ever tried to burn a cork, you know, out of a bottle, you'll know what I mean. And so look at that. That's incredible, isn't it? That is, that's damn hot. It would burn everything else. But that is amazing, I think. But there you go. That's one of the properties of spray cork. Insulates, it's got some sound insulation, and it's also got that fire retardant, fire hard to burn element to it. So there you go, fascinating, isn't it? Anyway, back on with them, trying to sort the kitchen out. I'm getting distracted, I'm getting it, but I thought you'd like to see that. So there you go. Here we go, here we go, come on. Yes, yes. Excellent. Okay. As ever with plumbing, I've kind of just laid the sink in where I think it'll be. And this one is a bit too high. And this one is kind of it could do it could do with being about here these are the two uh, flexible hoses that go into the mixer tap that's that we've got in the sink so it's going to come up here sort of thing and one of them would just fit nicely oh well if that's there that just fits really nicely but then this one kind of is a bit too a bit too close now to where the tap is so could i have measured them oh, probably could i position them better yeah probably but i guess that's one of the joys of plumbing is you know learning for the next time okay i'm gonna measure it and learn how to position it and get it all accurate and all the rest of it but that's for another day i'm gonna move that one to there and then this one, if I did this one horizontally, it's a little bit too far to get to the tap. So I might, what might I do? Should I bring that down? Just take a bit off? Or should I bend it here? Oh, you'll see in a minute. You know, there's quite a lot to hate about plumbing. And one of the things that is that extra bit is when you take a pipe off and you forget it's got some water in and you pour it all down your trousers. I wanted to go to the shop and now it looks like I'm incontinent.
one's heavy. Bloody hell. It was brief. I've just realized I've got stuff to do this afternoon. Uh, so there we go. We've got some of the bits in. We've faffed around with the plumbing and had to readjust. So you can see now under here where then they will connect up into the sink bit. And then what I've got to do really is, is get the waste, go through here, go through there and make sure we can get the waste water out um but it's it's kind of cool it's it's really cool looking at a, a layout um with then the cooker and a bit here i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving this and we've sorted the outside tap so you know it was a short one but it's been a goodie really happy with that come on hey that escape plan is working. This dream house is coming together. This should somehow go up there. I think I should have blown this up before I got to this point. Hold on. I think that's rubbish. I don't think that worked. Um, trying to block it off with one of these chimney balloons, but it's fucking awkward. You can't get the bloody tube on it. It won't properly fit, so tell with it. It can bloody live up there. But I'm going to build out a frame now, measure up. We'll get a frame built so that we can cap this off. came back and we've done a bit more. We've got the frame that we'll put up here in the chimney breast. I wanted to hang this just to get an idea where it is and also where to put the cable through because I've got to connect it up to the fused spur here so that we've got power and the extraction. Um, and yeah, it just needed to do a few extra things before we go out, but it's curry and beer tonight, so I'm out of here. We'll see you again as come on. We will escape to the dream house. Oh. Where's that curry? Come on, I need a beer.